everybody. It's that time of the year with all the festivities. We're, we're preparing for Christmas with all our ornaments. And now this one I've done with a different color because we are going to have the festival of lights and colors, which is Diwali. Okay. So Bina, I'm sure you're going to make a lot of different colors of this one, which looks so pretty. It's so simple. There is no um, other knots other than just half hitch and first the lock head, half hitch and maybe one or two um, flat knots. Okay. So we've used five beads. I'm going to make a white one now because I made a yellow and a cream one. This one can be used as a tea light for big tea lights or you can use it as a star. Okay. You can even put a picture inside. You can do what you want with this one. Now, this one also, I just tried out one tea light and that's how I got this. But then I felt this closer one looks better. So the choice is yours, whatever you want to do. I'll give you the dimensions right now and, and let's get started. Okay. I'm going to put up this candle. Okay. So we have this ring here. And you'll want to know what size ring I'm using. Let me give you the radius is two inches. Two inches is the radius. Okay. Yeah. And we've got five wooden beads. I'm using red beads because I'm going to use white cord. I made a yellow, a cream and an orange. So let's start with the white cord. So what I'm going to do here is make lock heads first. So let's make the lock heads around. I've put here. By the way, I'm using my curtain rings, which I don't want. So it's coming to use. So here you take the ends of the two first. Take the center. Take the center and make your lock head, okay? Put it in, pull it out, make your lock head. All of you know how to make a lock head. And you know what? I, I must mention that this is done with the remains of what I had done earlier, all the belts that I did and the other macrame things. I had small pieces. So I joined all of them with a glue gun and uh, some of them with thread and I made them long enough, cut out the cords. These are 20 cords of 28 inches each. So I joined, joined, joined and made these 28 inches. But can you know the difference? You can't know any joining. You cannot see anything because macrame is such where when you join, you can't make out if you do it neatly, okay? So I'm using all the leftovers. And same thing I'm doing with this white one as well. So we're going to make lock heads. So don't throw out your cords. You will definitely use them sometime. Now I've told you about the 20 cords of 28 inches. So if you have cords that you have left over, just join them. Join them and make them, okay? So I've joined these also. And we're just going to do lock heads. Let me count if I have 20 here already. So this is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty. Great. Let's divide this. And let's divide them into four. But we'll take this side so that you can see the blockheads. 
So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you are, okay? So this is just like how you're going to make a star. So let's start with one. And you're going to do this for all the other sides. So watch for one. Please watch how I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to spread out the last two and work with these two first, okay? These four. So you hold this one, the third one, two, three. Hold this one. Take the fourth one and make a half hitch. One and two. Two, okay, then another one, one and two. Do you see that? Now you make the same here. Just put on. It's moving, so I'm just going to put this here, okay? Okay, so you saw how I did these two, the same thing over here. You hold this one, the third one, and start working with, one minute. Okay. Hold the fourth one and start working. One, two, three, Four. Okay. So once you do this, four and four, now you take the outer ones and make a half hitch. So what are you going to do? You're going to take the second one and make half hitch here outside. So you'll do one, two, take the next one, one, two, then the third one, one, two, okay, you finish this side. See what we're doing? Now you start with this one. Hold this and do. One, two, the same thing you're doing, half itch. One, two. You're just outlining that, okay? And the last one, one, two. Now, what do you do at the center? As always, as always, you're going to take these two and join them by making just one knot, a simple knot. A simple knot and make another one so that it doesn't move. There you are. 
So we finished this. Now let's do another one. Take the outer one and make another line. One, two. The side now, last one you take and do one, two, one, two, one, two. And now you join these two. The same way. Same way you did first. That. So you've got two lines here and two lines here. Now let, let's do the next four, okay? Take the next four. You've got the lock heads first. Please watch. Keep these two aside. And work with these two. You're using these four now, okay? One, two, another one. One, two. One, two, I know you're noticing the joints, but you won't see them later when you work with it, okay? There you are. So we've done two. Now what we do here is join this. Okay, now you have to do the half hitch from outside. So you will take this one and start doing, sorry, this last one and start doing the half hitch. One, two, and the second one. It's very simple, girls. Very, very simple. I'm just going to do it with the bead and show you and then we'll complete the whole one, okay? Did I do two here? Yeah. Yes, no, yes, no. And check. Yeah. One. I'll take these last one and start. Second.
Okay, now we'll do this again because we need two lines. Hold the last one and keep on doing the half hitch. I'm doing it very slowly so that you can see. And then we'll do fast when we finish this complete set. Extra bit. So we made two, two, yeah? We just work on this one so that we can work on the others also. Now what we'll do is we take one from C, two different ones, one from here, cross it, and one from there, cross it, and make the half hitch in between, okay? Take one from that side and make the half hitch here, in between. I'll go over it again, okay? Let me just complete this. There you are. We've done this side. Now the one which we took from that side to this, let's make on this side. So you've got one, two, three lines. And here you have two, so you're making the third line. Okay, so you made two lines that side, two lines this side. Now, these two are here, and what we'll do in the center, keep these away, keep this one away, this one away, and come to the center. There are three here and three here. Take the two of the center now and put in your bead, okay? Take the ends. If you want, you can put cello tape in on it so that the end so that you can push the bead properly, okay? Small piece of cello tape. Just putting the end so that I can squeeze it into the bead. It's easier. Otherwise, I would be struggling for a minute to push the thing in. There you go. So let's put the bead here and then work with it. And now what we're going to do, we're going to close this diamond here. We opened it 
put the bead in. Now we're going to close it here. One, two, same thing. Half hitch, half hitch, half hitch. Till you come to the center, half hitch, and now you do the other side, okay? There you are. So that's in the center. Now you take these two and tie your simple knot around. One, two. Okay. Now we finished one. So we've got to do now the others. So let me explain to you with this one. Now, what did we actually do? Yeah. We made the lark head, 20 chords lark head. And then when you made the lark head, keeping these dashes on top because you want everything to be seen on the side. Okay. When you turn it, it's a different look. So you want everything this side. So what did you do? You had the 20 lark heads. Then what you did, you did half inch. One, two, one, two of the same chord in the center. Then you tied them up. If you, I tied this one, you can also, if you want to, make a flat knot here. Okay, with those. But I tied it up and then took the other two and made half hitch with the other chords. Just three chords, I think, the side and the side. Then whatever's left, again, another half hitch. So we did one, then we did another one, right? So same thing you did here. You made the lark heads and you made this two and two, tied it, two and two. And then what we did, we took one chord from here and pushed it on this side and made one half hitch. Took one chord from here and put it this side. So we crossed the chords and we made thing to join these two. To join these two, you took finally one chord from this side and one this side. And then you join them up. That's how you join. And then you made this opening here. Push the bead in and you closed it. Now what's, what's left is for me to just cut these chords. Okay. So I'm just going to show you one which is so easy. So you cut these chords. And open them out. And then you can just twist them out. And that is all that you have for the steel light. Once you complete the same thing for the others, it's the same thing. And just brush it out. Is that okay, girls? Or you want me to complete the whole thing? It's the same thing. I'm going to complete it a little later because I want to show you something else, okay? So this is what we're doing. You just do two, one, two, and then join it like I showed you, and that's it. Yeah? So let's carry on with our next now because we've got to finish complete a lot so so now that we go i'm going to complete the white one i'll show it to you later but i just want to tell you about these this one this cream big one for a big tea light holder i don't have a tea light i've kept a candle here only to show you but please remember to be careful because uh 
please use a big tea light for this one. Otherwise, all your wax is going to go on your um, on your tea light holder. And then if the candle, if you forget about it, then you might even have fire. So please use a tea light holder where the wax is in the container, okay? So for this one, the measurements for this one, I used a big ring, okay? Uh, with a circumference of, this is 40, 40 inches. Uh, sorry, 12 inches, 12 inches, okay, around. And radius is just four inches, okay? That's for this big one. What I use with the cords, these are eight cords on each of these, which is 40 cords, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So eight fives are 40. So the cords are 40 and the inches are 42. So 40 inches of 40 cords and the radius of uh, the circumference of the circle is 12 inch. So you've got the dimensions for this. Now, for the little um, gold pieces, you can just take about five, six centimeters of something and tie it. Let me show you. Okay, this is a longer one. So small little pieces like this, I've just put it around here, okay? You can see that. So that's with this one. This, I've already given you the dimensions when doing it. This white one, I've given you the dimensions when doing it. It's the same as this one I'm gonna make. And this one, the yellow one, I made six of these. Can you see it's not five like the star we have? The star of David is six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. But I just made it. It's not a star. I just made it like that to try it out. This was my first trial. And I had here 24 cords, okay? 24 cords of 30 inches each. You can make it as long as you want. If you want to join it, then you join it with this two and go on. But I just made it like this, okay? Each one. This is how you make a key ring as well. If you have the key ring and you put this and you make any design that you want to. What did I do here? I took four with the lark head and I made the center flat knot and two side flat knots. Then again, center flat knot, two side flat knots. Center flat knot, two side flat knots. And then I made half hitch just to close it and cut off the ends. Okay, so that's this pattern. This one, after you're putting all the lark heads on your big ring to, ha to have the bigger tea light, yeah, then I made the lark heads here and then had one, two, three, four flat knots first three flat knots after the fourth, two and one, okay? So what did I do? Four, three, two, and one. And then I made two half hitches and tied it and cut off the cords and left the cords like this, okay? Very, very, very easy. So that's what we'll have for Diwali. Happy Diwali, everybody.